Hey there, this is Josh Boyd with Rockslide, and today I'm going to do a review on Maven's brand new long range RS3 rifle scope. With a power range from 5 to 30 power, Maven's new RS3 is their first true, legit, long range rifle scope. It has a 30 millimeter tube with ED glass and a 50 millimeter objective lens. It has exposed turrets and it has a total elevation adjustment of 80 minutes of angle in the elevation and 50 minutes of angle in the windage. It comes in two different reticle styles. One is an MOA2 and the other is a simple holdover reticle. Both of them are in a first focal plane. It weighs 26.9 ounces and is 13 inches in length overall. And the price point on this scope is $1,600. I received this scope back in August of 2019 and I mounted it on my Lane Precision Rifles 300 Ultra Mag. I packed it around in three different states and it, see, it has seen every imaginable condition from hot, dry, dusty, to freezing cold, snow, wind, and rain. I spent extended time at the range performing box tests and also tracking tests and return to zero tests. The results from the box tests were repeatable and precise, and I didn't find any malfunctions. Return to zero was always spot on. The clicks of the turrets are very precise and they were very repeatable. I also found that the glass in this rifle scope was extremely clear. I did notice a little chromatic aberration, which is purple fringing at the highest magnification range, but it wasn't anything that impaired the use of the of this rifle scope. The light transmission of this scope is excellent and on par of any scope in this class. I did notice at last light that I had to dial the power down in order to see the target, but it still would function extremely well up to legal shooting hours. The compact design is perfect for a trim setup, but the mounting area is a little tight for certain configurations. I didn't have any issues mounting on a long action, but I didn't have a whole lot of room to spare. But it will fit almost any ring and mount configuration. The reticle in this test scope was the MOA2, and it has a floating dot, as does the simple holdover reticle. I found that floating dot helped with precise aiming at extended ranges and at higher powers. The RS3 has uncapped turrets for your windage and elevation. They're moderate in size, but they have very precise clicks. They're not hard to turn, but they never moved on me when it was slung over my shoulder or on a pack or carried in a vehicle or carried in my hand. Everything stayed at zero until I wanted to move it. All windage and elevation can be zeroed without any tools whatsoever. The zero stop on this scope is a friction ring, which is a little older styled type of stop where it's not as precise as other patented stops on the market, but I found it to be effective and I didn't have any issues at all with it. The parallax adjustment was effective, but the yardages were a little off compared to my rangefinder but it didn't really matter because I just kind of ignore the marks anyway and I use my eye. So who's the ideal user for this rifle scope? I think it's the long range hunter who wants higher magnification and also prefers a light trim package with accurate and precise reliability in the turrets. Who isn't this for? This isn't for someone who's not used to using a first focal plane reticle, or it's not really for somebody that really wants and desires an illuminated reticle. 
and it's really not for anybody that wants a rifle scope that has capped windage and elevation turrets. Head on over to rockslide.com to ask any questions or leave any comments. There's a link below to the thread and the optics forum, and I'll head there regularly to answer questions and see what the comments are. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the forums.